yeah, I'm wearing it. This is gonna be my day in the life with the Apple Vision Pro. And yeah, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and uh, I'm gonna start off with the early morning walk in public. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we're just going for a walk today. You guys can see my POV with the Apple Vision Pro. And obviously, since I'm walking, you can't really have apps follow you around. So if you do want to have apps open, then you're going to have to actually hold it down and actually walk with it, which I don't have really much of a problem because the pitching gesture is just this and is good enough. But it would be cool if Apple can actually allow you to actually have apps follow you around so you don't have to actually pinch your whole hand outside in the cold. Uh, so you see, morning walks are very peaceful. Like you can walk around, look at the sunrise. I don't want to judge you using the Apple Vision Pro. The morning walks with the Apple Vision Pro is actually pretty cool. You can actually capture what you're seeing while actually enjoying the moment. Yeah. yeah so this has been really fun actually i might just do another loop and then go back home because the floor is very slippery i mean very icy all around and i didn't wear my boots today so i don't want to fall with these four thousand dollar headsets on so i might actually just do a loop go back home and just do the rest of my morning routine so yeah let's continue with our walk so I'm not sure you guys can see it all the way down there, but my safari is all the way back there. And I want to bring it back all the way here. So I just have to hold down and it shows up here. So that's actually pretty cool. So the sound does continue to play when you walk further away from it. But I think at a certain distance, it just stops the sound. So it is currently 8.40 a.m. And I think it's time that we walk back home so we can have our breakfast. But yeah. I really love going outside in a walk with the Apple Vision Pro. It's actually pretty cool. The only thing that I would love to add is maybe have the option to have your apps follow you around. That's all I really need to have the Apple Vision Pro be a full on walking, walking companion. So yeah, and also same hazard. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that little kid was surprised with the Apple Vision Pro. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool to see people's reactions. Let's get back home and eat some breakfast. very beautiful outside now it's time for breakfast yeah I'm gonna actually eat with the Apple Vision Pro All right, so they call me Gordon Ramsay from The Hood. So I'm gonna be making some five-star eggs. All right. All right, so we just need to get some butter in there. Actually, let me heat up the stove first. At five, let it heat up for a little bit. Maybe put a one minute timer for that and now we wait All right so the one minute timer is done i can put just a tiny whiny tiny bit of butter maybe for the butter i put another one minute timer even though i don't really need a timer for eggs it's just pretty fun to be able to do that so let's let it melt and then we can put our eggs right there but i do like to put salt pepper and usually put chili flakes as well so uh, yeah, 
Might do that. Let me put some YouTube on while I actually make my eggs. So yeah, that is my morning with the Apple Vision Pro. Went out for a walk, made some breakfast, ate some breakfast. So now we just got to use it for the afternoon. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, so in the afternoon, I just sat down, relaxed, took my laptop and put on the Apple Vision Pro so I can start editing videos with the Apple Vision Pro. The laptop and Apple Vision Pro combination is an unbeatable combination. So right now I'm currently editing the Tesla road trip video that I did. That video will be linked in the description if you guys want to watch that. But as you can see, I'm just editing this with a huge screen and I can move it around and I can do whatever I want with it. So yes, the Apple Vision Pro with the MacBook combination is truly amazing and the resolution is still in 4K. So that's just amazing. So after a while of editing, I just sat down, ate lunch, and was watching TV with my girlfriend. As you can see from the reflections, I'm not watching TV in the Apple Vision Pro. I mean, I do have digital content around that I was moving around, but I was watching TV, physical TV with my girlfriend because the Apple Vision Pro doesn't seem to really have a good and easy way to actually share content with people that either don't have the Apple Vision Pro or even with people with the Apple Vision Pro. And of course, I had to try out some gaming with the Apple Vision Pro. So a lot of the games that Apple Vision Pro offers are in Apple Arcade and they are augmented reality games. So the game I was playing was Battleships and I was playing with an AI and it was actually pretty fun. There was a multiplayer option, but I wasn't too sure if it was only available for people with Apple Vision Pro or with people that have Apple Arcade regardless of the device they have. I should probably test that out and see how it works. But yeah, that was the game that I was playing. And there isn't going to be much virtual reality game, so if you are getting the Apple Vision Pro, you are going to have to deal with augmented reality games. So one thing I like about the Apple Vision Pro is that it has iPhone and iPad apps and I can actually control my car with the Apple Vision Pro. I mean, I wouldn't use this because I don't expect to drive with the Apple Vision Pro, but it actually is pretty cool if you have the headset on and you want to get something inside the car, you can just unlock the car, you can take whatever you need to take inside the car, close the car, lock it back. And voila, it's done. And there's a bunch of things that you can do. You can open the trunk. You can open the front trunk. You can open the charge port over here. You can close it back, close it here. So the fact that you can do all of this just with the iPad app is actually pretty decent. I mean, it would obviously be better if you could have a dedicated app for the Apple Vision Pro, but these iPad apps, iPad and iPhone apps are pretty decent. And as you can see, it actually hides whatever is behind the actual app. So you can't really see the charger looking from here, but if you turn around here, you see the charger here. So you can really put this anywhere and actually control it. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I would prefer if the actual app could be floating around. Some apps you could just pin in your peripheral. And so wherever you go, you just have the apps pinned there. But it's not that bad. I think it's actually pretty cool to have the app that you can actually control stuff. But for now, it is kind of a gimmick. 
But until we can actually get more functionalities and more apps built specifically for the Apple Vision Pro, we will be using the iPad and iPhone apps that are compatible with the Apple Vision Pro. All right, so after a long afternoon of editing videos with the Apple Vision Pro, playing some games with the Apple Vision Pro, eating with the Apple Vision Pro, it's time to just wind down, relax, scroll on Twitter, scroll on the web, and just chill. With the weight of this headset, it's hard to really keep it on all day, but it is something that you can do. I mean, I would take breaks once in a while, but again, you can basically do this all day if you really do get used to the weight. But yeah, I'm just gonna wind down and then from there, we'll see what we do with the Apple Vision Pro in the evening. All right, so I just ordered dinner, ordered it through Uber Eats, and I ordered some Poke Bowls. So I'm gonna eat dinner, watch a movie in the Apple Vision Pro, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will finish my dinner and then update you guys on the movie watching experience with the Apple Vision Pro as best as I can. Obviously, without you guys wearing the headset, you guys won't be able to actually experience how it is to actually watch a movie in the Apple Vision Pro, but I'll try and describe it as well as I can for you guys, but I'm very hungry, so I'm just gonna finish eating my dinner and... All right, so as I was watching my movie, I was obviously eating dinner and it was really, really fun. But one thing with the Apple Vision Pro that is kind of annoying is that you can't screen record or even screenshot while you're watching a movie. I get it, you don't want someone to just copy the movie while recording the screen, but I was able to just watch a trailer and on Apple TV. So the Apple TV app does let you record trailers. So I was recording a trailer in the cinema environment so you guys can see how it looks. Obviously you won't really feel the way I'm feeling watching the movie in this environment, but I would suggest any one of you guys, if you're in the US, go to an Apple store and do a demo of the Apple Vision Pro because it is truly amazing and you get to experience it for yourself. All right, so it is currently 10.30 p.m. And yeah, I've been using the Apple Vision Pro for most of the day. So during the morning, used it for my walk, used it for breakfast and watch some YouTube. The afternoon, I played a couple games and I also used it to edit some videos. And in the evening, I ate dinner and watched a movie. And right now, I'm just relaxing and watching another movie until I go to bed. But the Apple Vision Pro for me, actually, is actually a good productivity device and also a good entertainment device. But would it ever replace my smartphone? And I don't really think it ever will replace my smartphone. So it might be a good companion, a, a good enhancement to my smartphone, but not necessarily a good replacement. Using it for the whole day today just showed me that the Apple Vision Pro is absolutely amazing. But there is a lot that can be improved to make it even better than what it is. And I actually think that Apple has a lot of potential to grow the Apple Vision Pro and make it very, very big and make it into a huge category. But again, I don't think it would ever replace my smartphone, but it could definitely replace my laptop or maybe even replace my iPad. And right now, the Apple Vision Pro has a lot of room to grow. WWDC is coming up in June, so we might have updates with the Apple Vision Pro by then. But right now, I'm absolutely loving it. And yeah, that was my day in the life. We used it for most of, most of the day today. Obviously, I had to take some breaks in between the time because of the wait. But other than that, the Apple Vision Pro is amazing. And I don't see myself not wanting to use the Apple Vision Pro again tomorrow. So yeah, a great day in the life with the Apple Vision Pro. Let me know what you guys think about the Apple Vision Pro being used on a regular basis or being used for most of the day. And yeah, leave it down in the comments and what else do you want to see regarding the Apple Vision Pro? I might make a video talking about my favorite apps with the Apple Vision Pro, but so far that is my day in life. And yeah, see you guys on another video. Peace. I love this.
this thing. 